And welcome to part 4 of the Knuckles playthrough in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. We are in Ice Cap Zone, and um, this time we're underground because we took an alternate pathway that Sonic and Tails did not take. Though in reality, you could have seen more of Underground had I played the, the level different as Sonic and Tails. Like, you start off underground when you're Knuckles, but you start off above ground when you're Sonic. The difference is that just that, really. I mean, Sonic, if he had fallen through more pits when I was playing, he could have ended up in the same kind of areas that I'm in right now. And there's a lot of ice chunks on water, the, the kind of ice chunks that sink as soon as you step on them, so you gotta keep jumping. And you don't want to fall with the iceberg into the bottomless pit that is the water. There's no, there's nothing at the bottom, folks. You fall in the water, you're done. You're dead, because you guys can't swim. You can't do anything to save yourselves, and that's no good. So really, all you have to really watch out for is that. If you see yourself in a waterish area, make sure you do not fall, because there's nothing at the bottom. For the most part, though, it's pretty basic. Just roll into the penguins, try not to fall in anywhere you don't want to. Bottomless pits. They be quite huge in this ice cave. As always, the Eggman blocks will hurt you if you try and open them, so watch the fuck out for those. And now, folks, with 48 rings to go, I think I should say that once I get these next two rings, shit's about to get real. SUPER KNUCKLES! Ah! <laughs> okay, it's not as cool as Super Sonic, obviously. Uh, Knuckles gets a flashy animation, you know? He gets slightly more pink, and he gets flashy, you know? It's not as cool as turning gold and having a cool look. I like when he turns into Super Knuckles, he has this big roar monster face for a quick second. So you're invincible, you can climb walls incredibly fast, and unfortunately that's about it. You can't jump higher, you can't, and you're not that much faster. You get a good beat, a good boot, bleh. You get a good burst of speed, but I don't think you're that much faster, honestly. Super Knuckles is great for invincibility and for climbing walls fast, but he's not the amazing, oh my god, supersonic breaking thing that Supersonic is. Still good, though. This boss fight, pretty much the exact same thing as it was with Eggman. The only difference is he keeps dipping the tower up and down, and if you're standing on it and you and the tower lifts up, you'll run into Egg Robo and get hurt, and yeah. Since I've already fought him, I figured I'd be super knuckles for the boss fight. I don't really care. <laughs> but I'll hate my words for that later, because the next mini-boss we fight, I wanted to show off. So folks, now we begin launch base the final level of Sonic 3, but uh, you'll notice something different in the background. Where's the Death Egg? Where's the Death Egg? The Death Egg is gone. The Death Egg is destroyed. The Death Egg was destroyed by Sonic and Tails back in their playthrough, so we don't see it anymore. I like that attention to detail. They really are implying that this is after Sonic's story, you know? I doubt it's before, because the, the ending would certainly imply that it's not. <laughs> And once again, Act 1 is pretty much the same thing it was for Sonic and Tails. Except for, like, the tail end of the, the act. So what you're seeing right now, you've seen it with Sonic and them. So you know. People have been wanting my opinion on the 3D games to see what I think of them. Because everyone thinks the Sonic series has had a horrible, horrible decline in quality ever since it moved to 3D. And while I admit the, the Genesis games are the peak perfection of Sonic, you know... The 3D games are not bad at all. People stop, gotta stop bragging on Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2 for being crap now that we play it ten years later. It's still fine to play, honestly. I like Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 a lot. They were awesome fucking games. Sonic Adventure 2 is my third favorite Sonic game. That's how high I would put it. It's such a fun game to play. It's such a fun game to show off. The music's kick-ass. Sonic Adventure 2 is a great fucking game. Sonic Heroes, I know a lot of people hate that game for some fucking reason. I love it. It's awesome. I don't know why people hate it so much. Every song in that game is fucking awesome, and the gameplay is tight, and I know there's a few glitches here and there, but you hardly notice them when you're good at the game, like I am. <laughs> um, Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't know what the fuck they thought... Like, 
I understand Shadow is a dark character. I understand that. But to turn the whole world dark and to make Sonic, of all people, say DAMN! No, you don't make Sonic say damn. He's never said damn before. At least not unless it's been Japanese, where Japanese don't give a shit what they say in their cartoons. <laughs> Characters say shit all the time. Look up Japanese Sonic X. Good lord. But, uh... Just w a way too dark story that sort of retcons Professor Gerald's whole backstory and whole, you know demeanor. It just didn't make sense to me at the ending of that. But that being said, the story is ridiculous, and it's way too dark for a Sonic game, but I thought the gameplay was cool. I thought the gameplay was tight. I loved having a choice of where the story went. Obviously, it wasn't pulled off that well, because the story was shit, but it was still a nice idea to give you your own specific missions and objectives. And I liked it. I liked it. I tried not to turn into Super Sonic, but I just got that 50th ring. So we have to climb this wall because Knuckles blew the shit out of it before, and now it's been collapsed and it's just a normal piece of rubble this time around. Haha! -ha! So this does take place after Sonic Story. I wait for Super Knuckles to wear off because I don't want to fight this mini-boss as Super Knuckles. I want to show you how to do it properly because I know a lot of people who die on this mini-boss. We fought him before. He was in the Sonic playthrough. Only this time there's two of them, not one of them. And I think because of the platform you're on, I think the rings will actually fall past the floor and go di directly to the bottom. So if you get hit, you lose those rings for good. I could be wrong, I haven't gotten hit during this boss fight, but... Anyway, this is all you really do. You just you spin dash from one side of the room to the other. When they stop spinning, hit one of them, do the same, rinse and repeat. And, uh, you know, eventually all their chains will get broken. That's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. I know a lot of people got stuck on that, because you hit one, the other guy is not hit, and he's still swinging his chain, and he's, he still hits you, you know? And that could get a little bit stumping, but it's not that bad, honestly, if you know what to do. Booyah! They should have sent three at me, I'd kill them too! <laughs> so now, because we went through the bombed-out building that Knuckles blew the shit out of, we now have Act 2 of Launch Base taking place underground. What is it with Knuckles and being underground, exactly? <laughs> but I digress. And now we just see lots of brick in the background instead of, like, the sky and, and everything else. Which I think is cool. It's unique. I honestly don't play the Knuckles playthrough that much when I play uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I always play as Sonic because he's the guy to play, but... You know, every time I play as Knuckles, I'm always in for a treat, because I, I don't play it that much, and every time I see the new backgrounds and the new platforms and stuff, it's always fun for me, you know? Obviously, the water here is not caused by the ocean, as it's still pouring all over the place. So that's interesting to note of. I know I could have just glided to the right there, but whatever. I'm trying to be cool and slick. I don't want to make a mistake. And making mistakes is easy. Especially in this game. Alright, they give you a water shield because it gives you, it allows you to breathe underwater, and you want to preserve that as much as you can and not hit into enemies like I do because, well, now the water is rising. And with the water rising, I fucked up, you have very limited time to get up to where there is air, because there's no bubbles here at all, and if you don't reach air quick enough, you're going to drown and you're going to die. So try not to waste that air bubble like I did. And be quick about it. <laughs> but booyah, now we're back in Sonic's playthrough. Well, you'd think we're back in Sonic's playthrough, actually, but... Oh, detour! Sonic had to take the upper pathway, because he couldn't spin dash into the wall that Knuckles broke. So now I'm going down this al other alternate pathway. Woo! Anyway, folks, we're going to be taking on the boss of this level in part five. And, uh... Yeah! I hit myself intentionally so I wouldn't be super knuckles. <laughs> Till then.